Felicity Jones and Eddie Raymayne are teaming up again for an air balloon movie. Let's check it out. What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing the Aeronauts, which is about pilot Amelia and scientist James who find themselves in an epic fight for survival while attempting to make discoveries in a gas balloon. Now, of course, I said Felicity Jones and Eddie Raymayne are the two main stars in here. Now, I love their chemistry and a theory of everything. It was a very heartbreaking movie. I was looking forward to this one, though. And I got a cool thing. I made a whole vlog about it. I got to go to this whole festival, see it outside. It was quite an experience. And if it's coming to a city near you, definitely check it out because that that's kind of the way to see it. To kind of go to these festivals, get to see it for free. It's all free. Like, you might as well do it. Free food, free drinks, free hot air balloon ride, and a, and a movie. Can't go, can't go anywhere bad from there. I was looking forward to this one typically because of these two cast members. And I, even though I didn't know much of it, I have to say, I know this is coming to Amazon Prime at the end of the December. I gotta say, if you can see this in theaters, you definitely should. Of course, before I tell you why you need to, make sure again to hit that like and subscribe button. I do tons of early movie reviews on here on a daily basis, and I wanna talk movies with you, so make sure to comment down below. And let me know why you guys are excited for this movie. Like I was saying, this is the movie that you should see in the theaters. One of the biggest reasons for it is if you ever saw the movie The Walk or Everest in theaters, those are two true experiences that really made you feel like you were there for the moment climbing Mount Everest or walking across the Twin Towers. It's something of a spectacle when you get those moments and Aeronauts gets that same lovability of making you feel like you are truly in this hot air balloon. I have no idea how they filmed it, how they created all those sequences, but it does make you feel like you are along for the ride for this survival. And it's quite intense to per se, and I was quite on the edge of my seat for almost every single one of those moments to where I was shocked. Like, my god just absolutely blown away and now i do think that if you were to watch this at home you would still enjoy it but i think it does take away from that element of seeing it on a big screen so if you can see it on a big screen definitely see it on the big screen i'd say that to pretty much any movie but something like this you got to i was mentioning felicity jones and eddie raymond in a movie is just perfect casting i mean they have wonderful chemistry you definitely feel it along in here as well and eddie's great as always he's superb so is felicity I think a lot of my one thing about this film though is while the performances are great and the whole the way the whole film is created and again cinematography is just top notch one of the best looking films of the year absolutely like I was just blown away by certain of the sequences and the shots that they have throughout the whole movie. When it comes down to the film, though, there are some story directions that I wish they didn't have. There's a lot of times where they flash backwards, and I didn't think you needed that. And I think you rely on that because you're worried that you're going to lose the audience within the fight for survival on this gas balloon. And I think they it takes away the pacing of certain moments where you're just like, it's like building up, building up, building up. And it just kind of like goes to a flashback. And I'm like, okay do that took away from those elements while again it is furthering out some of the characters and some of the story that you could have said i think it should have been shown in the beginning and told in a more chronological way to the way that it doesn't lose the pacing and it's building up to the balloon now i understand in other cases why they wouldn't do that but i feel like to latch us on there's a couple flashbacks that if you would have shoved into the beginning of the film i would have been locked in like right away and some of the flashbacks, though, aren't terribly paced either. There's just some that feel really misplaced that I feel like were not the right choices. And then there are others that did feel right. So I think a lot of my issues come down to this movie was with the story issues. And I wish they would have could have improved on those. Of course, before I give you guys my final thoughts on the Aeronox, again, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this film. Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Let's discuss it. And of course, if you guys want to check out movies early, go hit up Sandwich on Films down below. Because right down there, we give it out advanced movie tickets all the time. And a big thank you to you for clicking on this video. And a big thank you to my Patreon supporters. Because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. Aeronox is a thrilling movie. It's truly something you gotta see in the theaters. It keeps you on the edge of your seat with some investing characters who have wonderful chemistry because of the two main performers. And while I wasn't like taken back by the story by any means, it's the way this movie was shot that truly blew me away. The cinematography is some of the best of this year and everything inside the gas balloon is quite intense. It builds up to that and ramps up and while all the flashbacks I didn't think were totally necessary could have easily shoved some to the front, I think what it does for inside this movie is quite intelligent. I enjoyed it overall. It is a fun watch. And again, it's kind of thrilling and will keep you on the edge of your seat. And if you do have a fear of heights, you see this in theaters, 
you might get a little sick here and there. So with all that said, I'm going to give the Aeronauts a B minus. Let me know what you guys thoughts are on this film. Are you guys excited for it? Are you not? Let's discuss it down below, guys. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on this video. And of course, until next time, stay classy.